Hello, my name is Olivia Romer. I'm a Sage Certified Consultant at TAG, a premier Sage partner for construction software with a team of experts in construction accounting and software solutions. In this five-part video series, we will help you prepare for your year-end activities in Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate. In the fourth video, we discussed how to prepare for and print your annual payroll tax returns using Atrix. If you missed it, go ahead and click the link in the description below. Today I'm going to discuss how to close the year in Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate. In this video, I will show you the various year-end help available from Sage, how to back up your Sage data prior to performing closing functions, closing payroll for year-end, updating your tax tables for the new year, and closing the fiscal year in General Ledger. Sage has an entire section of their website dedicated to year-end activities. When you go to the Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate year-end website, you can watch videos, read articles, and even download a year-end guide with step-by-step -step instructions. The first thing I suggest is downloading the Year and Procedures Guide. This will provide you with an instructional guide to follow for closing the year. After you download the guide, your next step should be to back up your data files. You can find step-by-step -step instructions in the Year and Procedures Guide, Appendix A. To back up your data, you must do the following. This should be done on your server if you're using a server workstation environment. Go to Common Tasks, Tools, File Tools, then say Yes. Then you want to select the Backup option. Hit Next. Then you want to hit the Add Folder button. Then navigate to find your database. Then select OK. Then hit Next. Then decide where you would like to put this backup. I'm going to choose my desktop. Then give the backup a name. Then hit Next. Then hit Next. It will show you all the available files that will be included within this backup. Make sure that no one is in your Sage 300 construction and real estate data. Go ahead and hit Next. And Next again. It will now start to back up your data. Make sure that the journal says that the operation was completed successfully. If so, hit the Finish button. You have now completed a backup of your Sage 300 construction and real estate data. Once you complete a backup of your data files, I suggest closing payroll. First make sure that you have finalized and posted the final payroll for the year you are closing. Run any necessary payroll reports to confirm that payroll ties to General Ledger. Then run all your Q4 payroll tax reports and returns, as well as your W-2s. Once all federal and state payroll filing forms are complete, then close the year in the payroll module. You can do this by opening the payroll module, going to Tasks, Close Year. This will remind you to back up your payroll master file. What the close year function does is clear the months to date, quarter to date, and year to date totals in the payroll master file. Then it moves those employees totals to the prior period fields. It also changes the current month to January and the year end date to 12-31-2018 in the payroll settings window. After you close the payroll year, your next step is to update your payroll tax tables. To do that, you need to take the following steps. Go to Payroll, then navigate to Tools, Download Taxes. Check the checkbox next to Update Tax Files when download is complete. Then hit the Start button. Any company-specific rates like state unemployment will need to be updated manually. You can do this by going to Payroll, Setup, Taxes, Tax Rates. Then navigate to the specific tax ID that you want to update. Then add the specific percentage and any limit amounts in the boxes below. Then save. 
You will need to do this with any tax rates that are specific to your company. You will also want to make sure to close the year in the following applications. Accounts payable, accounts receivable, cash management, contracts, equipment, job cost, property management, and service management. Then finally, you will close the year in general ledger. Closing the year in general ledger is simple, but you'll want to make sure you confirm everything for the year is accurate. First confirm that all transactions in the new files in all the applications have been posted. Then confirm that your suspense account has a zero balance. Then start your financial statement preparation by printing a trial balance, current ledger, and any other year-end reports you require. Once your year-end financial preparation is complete, then print your financial statements. Make sure to keep your finalized financial statements handy because we will need this when closing the year. Now you can close your fiscal year in General Ledger. You want to navigate to General Ledger, Tasks, Close Fiscal Year. It will ask you if you made a backup of your data file. If you have multiple prefixes like I do, select the appropriate prefix level that you want to close. If your particular company is not at year end, like mine here, it will not allow you to close the fiscal year. It will, however, verify if there are entries that affect the previous fiscal year close. If so, it will make any adjustments to retained earnings here. As you can see, there's nothing that will adjust retained earnings. Because my current period is not at year end, it will not allow me to close the fiscal year. So this function will prevent you from accidentally closing a fiscal year when you have not completed the year. When you do close the fiscal year, this box will appear and it will show you a total amount that will be sent to retained earnings. Use a copy of your income statement to verify the amounts posting to retained earnings. If the amounts agree, go ahead and proceed. Otherwise, you'll want to cancel and determine the problem before you proceed with the closing of the year. The close fiscal year processes create the entries that close the income and expense account balances to retained earning accounts in the history transaction file. It then clears the current balance of the income and expense accounts and posts the net income or loss to retained earnings in the general ledger master file. The closing entries are not reflected in the activity field for the last month of the fiscal year. This allows the system to retain the activity for reporting purposes. It advances the year-end balances one year, the fiscal year ending and period ending date, the count activity fields one period, changing the current activity on all accounts to zero, and moves in any posted future activity, advances future activity one period, and prints a closed fiscal year journal that lists the closing accounts. If you would like to learn more about the Sage Construction and Real Estate software products, visit our website, www.teamtag.net, or email us at sales at teamtag.net. If you missed any of the videos in this five-part series for year-end closing, the links of all the videos are in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to see more videos like this five-part series, let us know in the comments below.